Hi hey folks, how are we all doing? Am I recording? Yes. So where are we today? We are at Loch Eck, E-C-K, Eck. Which is on the road to Danun. Then we're going to cut off, head up towards Loch Branter. and see what we can see from there. Took some drone footage of Loch Eck there. Nice wee spot. Still a few midges hanging about. Not as bad as it was in July and August. Twisty roads for... Is that half a mile? Very observant. <laughs> Nice big boat over there. Now this is an area I've never been to in my life. This is part of the, the Cowell Peninsula. And as I said, this takes you down to Dunoon, where I could get a ferry across closer to home, but I wouldn't be able to do the loop then. And I want to do the loop, which I think will take us on to some single track road. This road's in great condition as well. See, we're starting to get the autumn colours now. Just starting to, the leaves are just starting to turn. Getting a bit cooler during the day. What are we? 13 degrees just now. Yeah, we're almost getting to the point where the bikes will be getting tucked up for the winter. Should be okay for October. Possibly November. But up about here it's normally December, January, February is a, a no-no for the bikes. There is the odd day you could probably take it out, but once that salt's in the road, it's not so good. My bike's due a service in November, so... Still need to take it out that day. This is also a, a cycleway as well, so no doubt we're going to see a lot of push bikes kicking about. I think this will turn into a single track road, but I may be wrong. It's not a single track. There is white lines there. They're just that faded, you can hardly see them. I keep saying it, but it amazes me who lives in these houses. I mean, they're in the middle of nowhere. I mean, look at that. <laughs> what is it they do? How do they make money? Or is Scotland just full of rich people? Because I'm not one of them. Or do they just make money through being bed and breakfast, or guest houses, or... Yeah, so when do you take your bikes off the off the road for the winter? Do you wait till the first spread of salt or frost or snow, <laughs> blizzard? This road doesn't know if it's single track or what it is. Oh. Nearly, not paying attention. This has got to have a Glen name, this. I wonder if it is Glen Branta. Oh, nice view. Oh, this might be Loch Branta. Yep, that's a dam. And 
of stuff on my bike on that slope. Now I've been calling it Log Branter, it isn't, there's Log Tarzan, not Tarzan, Tarzan, with an S, not a Z. <laughs> I don't know where I got Branter from. Talking rubbish. So it's Loch Tarson. Wonder if I've got a viewpoint here. Hehehe. <laughs> It's pretty windy. But we'll have a look. So that was Loch Tarson. Very, very windy. Must be up pretty high here. I think the next loch we'll maybe see is Loch Striven, which is a sea loch, whereas the other ones have been fresh water. Right there it's there, Loch Striven, a big pheasant. Another pheasant. Pheasants galore. So on the way here, there you've got to go, uh, rest and be thankful. And guess what? It was closed again. Another landslide. However, they are diverting us up the old military road, and that's a road I've always wanted to go up. And now I've done it, and I'll have to go back down it on the way home. And what they do is. Because it's a single track road, the, there's a, somebody in a car who comes back and forward and leads convoys. Um, I'll try to remember to record it on the way home, you can see it. Road ahead closed. Come on! What is that? It's not a pheasant. Don't know what that is. <laughs> Are you quails or something? There's certainly been a few of them splatted anyway. <laughs> Come on, you're going to do that, let me by. I'm liking this route. Nice. That is a steep hill. Still a steep hill. <laughs> and back down. Oh, there's a nice view. What a road. Brilliant. Steep again. None of this Pico stuff, just straight up. <laughs> No need to zigzag, just go for it. Oh yes, we're high here. There we go, right over the top of the hills. This is the beauty of the bike. I would never come down these roads in the car. It's a pain in the neck. Whereas in the bike it's great. 
bike's taken me to places that I wouldn't normally go or I've been before. Even the sun's came out. Right, what I think I'm going to do is turn these cameras off and when I get to when I get close to the rest and be thankful I'll maybe switch them back on. See if we can get that old military road, although I would imagine that will be absolutely mobbed with cars at the moment. But you never know. So we don't get the cameras back on until the next time. Take care everyone. Bye.